So let's suppose that we have a ball, an object that has a mass of 0.5 kilograms that is undergoing uniform circular motion. Now if the radius of the circumscribed pathway is 0.8 meters and it takes the ball two seconds to make four revolutions, what exactly is our centripetal acceleration of our object? So, our object is undergoing the following uniform circular motion. So the radius of our circle is given to be 0.8 meters. So given the above information, we want to find what the magnitude of our centripetal or radial acceleration is. So we're essentially following the following three steps. First, we must determine what the frequency is. Next, we must use that to determine the velocity, the magnitude of velocity. And finally, we use the magnitude of velocity to find our radial acceleration of our ball. So let's go to step one, determine the frequency. Well, the formula for frequency is simply the number of revolutions, which in this case is four revolutions, divided by the time it takes to make, to make those four revolutions, and that's two seconds. So four divided by two seconds gives us two seconds to the negative one power. So the seconds is the negative one power. Now, let's use that information to find the velocity. The velocity of an object or the magnitude of the velocity of our object can be found by taking our circumference of the circle and multiplying that by frequency. So we get 2 pi r multiplied by frequency equals 2 pi times the radius, so 0.8 meters multiplied by 2 seconds to the negative 1. And that gives us 3.2 pi meters per second. So this is our magnitude of velocity. Recall that our direction of velocity is always tangent to our pathway of the circle, of our object. So, and finally, in step three, we use our formula for radial acceleration to find what the magnitude of radial acceleration is. So we simply take this value, we square it and divide it by our radius, 0.8 meters, and we get 10.24 pi squared meters per second squared. So this is the magnitude of our acceleration.